Hi, my name is Teresa Soto, and one of the things I do is meet with the Meadville Council, that's Lee Barker and all the faculty. And I wanted to bring you one of the faculty concerns today. It's about people who are competitive about homework reading. Mm, the conversation sounds something like, well, I'm four weeks ahead. And then the other person says, well, I'm only three weeks ahead, so then they're feeling a little behind, and people wanting to start reading for March classes now. One thing that the faculty really wanted to stress is that the reading is part of the formation process, so doing it the way it's laid out is supposed to help you, allow the reading to become part of you inform you as a minister and also inform your judgment as a minister. Then the other thing is a little more practical. It's about the way grad school works. So it's probably not a reasonable expectation that you're going to read every single page. Um, if there were time and energy and it were somewhere in the realm of possible. That would be one thing. But they know it's a lot. So maybe one thing to do to lessen the pressure would be to ask the professor how they prioritize the readings. Like, mm, it's going to be tight. What order do you suggest I read them in? I don't know. Just an idea. Anyway, the underlying question is, if you have to do it imperfectly to do it well, what does that mean? So, I wanted to bring you their concern. They said, well, maybe it's being fostered in Facebook groups, this competitive environment. I said, I don't know. It's not in any of the ones I'm in. But... That doesn't mean you're not really worried, and that doesn't mean you're not trying to do a good job. I get it. But also, a couple of things to think about are that formation piece, and what's reasonable to accomplish, and then the fact that in order to do it well, you might do it imperfectly. Alright, not trying to be the boss of you, just trying to bring helpful info, and I hope you have a good day.